ஓம் வக்கிரதுண்டவகோதாய சூரியோட்டிசமிகம் குரு மே தேவ சர்வகாரியேஷுவதி நமஸ்துபியம் வரதே காமூபிணி வித்யாரம்பம் கரிஷ்யாமி சித்தேர்வது மே சதா சாட்சாத்தயானந்தம் பரமார்த்தஸ்வரூபிணம் தத்வானப்பிரசாஸ்தாரம் பிரணத்தோஸ்மி பரம் பதம் வாகர்த்தாவிவசம்பிரிப்தவாகத்தப்பிரதிபத்தையே ஜகத்தரோ வந்தே பார்வதி பரமேஸ்வரோ ஏனாக்ஷரசமாம்னாயிகம்யமேஸ்வராத்ணம் வியாக்கரணம் புரோக்தம் தஸ்மை பாணினயே நம வாக்கியம் பதருச்சி பாஷ்யம் பதஞ்சலி பாணினி சூத்திரணத்தோஸ்மி முனித்திரம் சனவு சனோ சீரியங்கரவாவகை தேஜஸ்வினாவதீதமஸ்தமாவிஷாவகை ஓம் ஷாந்தி அல்பாக்ஷரம் அசந்திம் சூத்திரம் சூத்திரவிதோ பராங்கவரே சமாச ப்ராவாத்தியாசம்பிரதிபாபாத்தியாசம்பிசாதிசாக்கல்யாந்தவச்சேஷு ாரணே அப்பரிபிரஞ்சம் அனுர்யாதிவிதியோகோ 
पारे मध्ये अन्यपदार्थे स्वयं अत्यंत संयोगे तृतीयाथेन गुणवचन पूर्व सदृश समो नाथ निपुन मिश्र श्लक्षण दक्षेण मिश्रीकरण चतुर्थी तदर्थात पंचमी भेदमुक्तपति पत्रस्तरलश सिद्धशुष्कबंध क्षेपे पात्रे समितादगिश्च पात्रेवलाद सहारे च उपमाचन उपमितिमे विशेषण विशेषेण बहुल पूर्वापरप्रथमचरमजगन्यसमानमध्यमध्यमीराश्च 
ृष्टे श्रोत्रियाध्यापकूर्दाति प्रशंसावचनुवाकलतिलिनर्जरती चतुष्पाधो गर्भिण्या द्वितीय पूर्वापराधरोत्तरेकदेशिनकाकुंसकुर्तुर्यान्यतर से षष्टी पूजा नित्यम क्रीडा जीविक शेषो बगुब्री व्यय सन्ना दूरादिक संख्या संख्ये 
ಸಹೇತಿಲ್ಯೋಗೆ ಉಪಸರ್ಜನ ರಾಜದಂತಾಶು ಪರಂ ದ್ವೇಘೀ ಅಜಾದ್ಯದಂತ ಅಲ್ಪಾಚಿತರಿಶೇಷಣೆಷ್ಟಾಶು ಕರ್ಮಧಾರೇ ಪಾಣಿನೀಯಸೂತ್ರಪಾಠೆ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ನಿತ್ಯೀವಿಕೋಷಿ ಷಷ್ಟಿ ಷಷ್ಟಿ ಗೋಸ ಸನುವೃತ್ತಿ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಷಷ್ಟಿ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಸಮಾಸ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಟೂ ಟು ಏಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೂ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಷಷ್ಟಿ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಸಮಾಸ ದ ನೆಗೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಲ್ ನೆಗೇಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ವೇರ್ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಜೀವಿಕ ಯೋಗೋ ನಿತ್ಯ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಮಾಸ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಜೀವಿಕ ಯೋಗೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೀವಿಕ what is it kreda jivika let us see so here i may have to type so i think they are not done everything let us see nityam kreda jivika yogo kreda means play jivika jivika is livelihood nityam kreda jivika yogo and the shashti coming as anuvrutti trajaka abhyam coming also anuvrutti to see here we know the trich is used in the sense of karta nul trichau kartari trich bhavati and here the not negation shashti tat purusham samasa in fact it is ordered it is nityam no vikalpa here it is it's a must it's a mandatory generally samasa we say vikalpena samasa has bhavati here the samasa is nityam number 1 number 2 trichaka abhyam word coming as anuvrutti from 15th sutra trichakabhyam kartari here the word trich you know the the pratyatrish it is add in the sense of karta and uh, since it is add in the sense of karta and here it is in, in the meaning of kreda the play jivika the livelihood so here there is no kartrutvam possible therefore ಇವಂತೋ ತ್ರಜಕಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಕಮಿಗ ಸನುವೃತ್ತಿ ತ್ರಿಜ್ ನೀ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ತ್ರಿಜ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದಾಫರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಕ್ಕ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನುಲ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಅಕ್ಕ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನುಲ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಜೀವಿಕ ಯೋಗ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಅಕ್ಕ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ಕ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಅಕ್ಕ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಅನುಭೂತಿ that is how we have to understand now what is kreda what is jivika isi kashika vritti 
काशी का शेष न इति निवृत्तम न निर्धारे दट नेगेशन न दसन दट न डसन कम एस अनुवृत्ति मींस समासा एपेंस समासा इज नॉट नेगेटिव न त्रिजकौ सॉरी न त्रिजकौ न त्रिच त्रिच इज डसन कम एस अनुवृत्ति नित्यम समासः विधीयते समासा इज नित्यम क्रीडायां जीविकायां च नित्यम षष्टी समस्यते तत्पुरुष सामसो दर इज नो विभाषा विभाषा इन दि फस्ट से फस्ट से सैकेंड चाप्टर यभाषा दट कॉल महा विभाषा टू वन लेवन विभाषा अनुवृत्ति अब टू सेकेंड चाप्टर सेकेंड से क्षणिटी क्रीडायां जीविकायां च नित्यम षष्टी समस्यते जनरली अव वी राइट षष्टी अंतम सुबंत पदम समर्थेन सुबंतेन सह समस्यते विकल्पेन समस्यते समासः भवति इका विकल्पेन दैट इज विभाषा विभाषा समस्यते बट हियर इट इज नॉट विभाषा इट इज नित्यम ओके देन तत्पुरुष समासश्च भवति बिकॉज़ इट इज अंडर तत्पुरुष अधिकार तत्व तत्पुरुषः उदाहृय इति अकह ओनली अक अलोन अक एग्जांपल ओनली इज गिवन इवन तो त्रिज काव्याम कमिंग एज अनुवृत्ति त्रिच इज नॉट यूज इन द सेंस ऑफ क्रीडा एंड जीविका देयरफॉर एग्जांपल्स ओनली फॉर अक इज गिवन उद्दालक पुष्प बंजिका एग्जांपल वारण पुष्प प्रचायिका दिस इज एग्जांपल फॉर क्रीडा यू विल सी व्हाट इट मींस देन फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर जीविका दंत लेखकः नख लेख दीज एक्साम क्रीडा जीविक योगो क्रीडायां जीविकायां च नित्यम षष्टी समस्य तत्पुरुष सामसह सो जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट फ्रॉम दि काशिका वृत्ति Kashiya Vrti, I just explained now. So I'll put it here. Kashiya Vrti, I'll just write it here. The word in Shastiya Vrti is invariably compound. Nitya Samasa. It's invariably compound with a word ending with akka, only akka, not trich. because trich there is there is uh, trich is not is used in sense of used in sense other than kartari therefore trich will not come as anuvrutti so therefore with the word ending with akka when this pratyaya the akka pratyaya denotes a krida a sport or a livelihood then the compound what form this tat purusha that is what kashika says that, that is it this is the translation निवृत्त न डनवृत्ति क्षणिटीजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीविकाजीवि
ಅನ್ವಾನರ ಪುಟ್ಟಪಚ ಈಗ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸಿಮ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ದಂತ ಲೇಖ ನಕಲ್ ಲೇಖ ನಾವು ಸಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಉದ್ದಾಲಕ ಪುಷ್ಪಾನ ಬಂಜಿಕಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಗೇಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಗೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ನೇಮ್ ಉದ್ದಾಲಕ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಸೊ ಉದ್ದಾಲಕ ಪುಷ್ಪಾನ ಬಂಜಿಕಾ ಉದ್ದಾಲಕ ಪುಷ್ಪ ಬಂಜಿಕಾ ಬಂಜಿಕಾ ಉದ್ದೇ ಉದ್ದಾಲಕ ಪುಷ್ಪ ಬಂಜಿಕಾ ಇಯರ್ ಅಕ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಭಾವಾರ್ಥ ಫಾರ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರೊಕಿಬಿಷನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಷಷ್ಟಿ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಷಷ್ಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ no prohibition here means that na doesn't coming as anuvritti therefore compounding can be done by shashti that is 2 to 8 optionally but because of the word nityam this is made compulsory so uddalaka pushpa banchika here okay this example now this is this example is expand here yeah? then next example First, let me see. We will see the example and then I will explain further. Tanta naam lekakaha. Lekakaha means writer. One who, who earns his livelihood by painting the teeth. By painting the teeth. Maybe some ornamentation or something by painting the teeth. So it's a profession maybe by which the person survives. He, he earns his livelihood. Here, Aka Pratyaya. denoting an agent lekakaha lekakaha is lik plus nul so denotes an agent can it form samasa no because kartaricha by that sutra already we have seen 2 to 16 by that compounding is prohibited that is why yajaka dibischa nal visa pirvambar kartaricha dismisses kartaricha dismisses samasa for null trich and null and yajaka divischa is apavada to that the yajaka digana null pratyanta words are that that will come compound and here nityam krida jivika for that example danta lekaha lekaha again by the sutra kartaricha compounding is prohibited but this sutra what happens the compounding is made compulsory that which is that, that is null pratyanta the words that uh, with that shashti subanta badam na samasyate iti kartaricha sutra says and that is negated by yajaka adibischa and uh, negate when further this sutra says that that samasa is compulsory so the akka pratyanta which could not be compounded with the shashti bhakti because of the prohibition in kartaricha in kartaricha we have seen okay and that is now it made compulsory so this is also you can you can take it it is an exception to kartaricha lekaha is a nullanta word tantanam lekaha because in the sense of jivika livelihood compounding is allowed that is very important jivikayam jivikayam if it is in the sense of jivikayam livelihood then the compounding is allowed for akapratyanta word also shashtyantam subat subantam padam akapratyanta subantena saha samasyate therefore it is negation to kartaricha kartaricha you have to remember to understand why here compounding is made compulsory there it is negated 2216 example if you see you will remember 2216 says kartaricha that we saw the example bhavatah shayika can you make compound this no kartari shayika is shayika bhavatah kart this is kartari kartari shashtyam sabanta padam here it is denotes a karta it will not combine with the word shayika shayika is tatvarta here it is denotes the pure action with this nullanta shabda the shashtyanta subanta padam 
न समस्यते इज इट नॉट सेम थिंग यर बहुत शाही का दंता नाम लेखक वट इज अग डील यर दंता नाम लेखक एंड दिस बहुत शाही का बहुत शाही का सो यर इट इज टू टू सिक्सटीन सो यद कांपौंडिंग इज मेड कंपलसरी सो नित्यम भवती दंता नाम सिद्धांत कमी स्मॉल चेंज हियर दिस इज नॉट टू टू सिक्स त्रिजकाभ्यां कर्तरी दिस इज द प्रीवियस नोट्स आई डिड मॉडर्न लास्ट क्लास आई टोल्ड यू फॉर द त्रिजकाभ्यां कर्तरी एंड कर्तरी वी विल फॉलो सिद्धांत कमोदी सो देयरफॉर अकॉर्डिंगली हियर आल्सो आई हैव टू चेंज इट दिस इज त्रिजकाभ्यां कर्तरी देयरफॉर द एग्जांपल इज अपाम सृष्टा दोस एग्जांपल वी हैव टू टेक इट आई विल एक्सप्लेन दैट हियर आई विल टेक इट एज त्रिजकाभ्यां कर्तरी कनक दिसपल ओके कूपस्य कनक यवाना लावक ओदन से भोजक युल प्रत्यय इन कर्तरी अर्था इज दर् दिस इज कर्म सो दष्ट सुबंत पदम दट विच डिनोट्स कर्म वेन इट कंबई विथ नूल वर्ड विच डिनोट्स कर्ता दिस एक्सापल डिनोट्स कर्ता देन इट विल नाट कंबई सामस इज रुहिबीटेड But this sutra says the current sutra nityam krida jivi kyo vo sutra says in the sense of livelihood. Danta nam leka kaha leka kaha is the the writer, so it denotes karta and danta nam is the karma. Tashtyantam subantam padam karma nisheshti. That karma is mandatory should be done. Okay, so we can compare with this example. ओदनस्य भोजकः इज काउंटर एग्जांपल काउंटर एग्जांपल समास इज नेगेटेड बाय त्रिजकाभ्याम कर्तरी प्लीज नोट दैट चेंज ओके आई फॉरगॉट टू मेक द चेंज त्रिजकाभ्याम कर्तरी 2215 बाय दिस सूत्र व्हाट हैपेंस कंपाउंडिंग इज मेड कंपलसरी Okay, this is just the explanation of the the example. Now, further, I will explain this. So, one example for livelihood, one example for freedom. Now, further, this null pratyaya. I will just explain, and then maybe in in sentence form I will take it later. Null pratyaya, if you see. It is added in the sense of it is it is added uh, to the datu also by the by the sutra three three one zero nine. Sanyayam sanyayam null pratyah bhavati datu ho. In denoting a name, in denoting a sanya sanya means name sanyayam sanya arte datu ho null pratyah bhavati. Bhavarte. In denoting a name, null pratyaya can be added to dhatu in bhavartha. In bhavartha, bhavartha just action, just the action. So when null pratyaya is added to dhatu in bhava, then, then 
Nul Pratya is added in Bhavartha. You see the Sutta 33109. The same example probably would have given 33109. 33109 is Krit section. Sanyayam. Sanyayam Saptami Bhakti. Therefore, Sanyaya Vishaye. In, the, in denoting the Sanya, the name. Dato ho nul pratya bhavati. Same example given. Uddalaka pushpa banjika. So in denoting a name, Dato will get nul pratya. Bhavati nul pratya. Dato ho bhavati. Dato ho nul iti. Okay. In denoting the, the Sanya in Bhavartha. Okay. So here. Since it is a Nitya Samasa, to explain this, this is given. Okay, this is not a Vigraha Vakya. Don't think Uddhalaka Pushpanam Banjika is a Vigraha. Here you have to pay attention to understand what it is. Uddhalaka Pushpanam Banjika, Uddhalaka Pushpa Banjika, Uddhalaka Pushpa Banjika is the name of the Krida, the game. Sanyayam. In denoting a name, in Bhavartha, the Banjadatu has taken Nul Pratya. So with the Nul Pratya, this compounding has been formed and uh, Uddha Laka Pushpa Banjika. This is a, the name of the game, the sport. Uddha Laka Pushpa Nam Banjika. Here, if you take this, the meaning would be the breaking of the Uddha Laka flowers. That is what is meaning. So this is not a Vigraha. Please don't think Uddhalaka Pushpana Banjika is a Vigraha for this. This is a Nitya Samasa. So when I say Nitya Samasa, Nitya Samasa, can it be in Swapada Vigraha? Yes or no? Nitya Samasa, can it be in Swapada Vigraha? No. Because Nitya Samasa is Aswapada Vigraha. You cannot use the words of the compound in the Vigraha Vakya. That is called Nitya Samasa. Aswapada Vigraha Samasa. Right? Yes. I hope you remember. We have seen this before. In the beginning. Introduction itself. Nitya Samasa. Swapada Vigraha. Aswapada Vigraha. Etc. Do you remember that? Yes. Swapada Vigraha. Yes. Swapada Vigraha. Okay. Uh, examples. I will have to show you some examples. Do you please check your notes? Um, let me check it to find out. Tell you that is Swapada Vigraha, Swapada Vigraha. Just a minute. Um, just a minute. This example I'll show you. Yes, uh, Krishna Samipam. Yes, uh, all the 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 Avibhava Samasa, etc. Aswapada Vigraha. Yes, Krishna Sya Samipam, Upasar Upa Krishna we say, right? Yeah. Aswapada Vigraha. That's the example. Good example. Yes. You can see here. I have copied everything in another file, making it a form, proper file. You can see here. Swapada Vigraha, Aswapada Vigraha. Upakrishnam iti samasaha. Upakrishnam is samasa, compound. What compound? It is a viva samasa, we will see. Meaning is Krishna sya samipam. This is a vigraha. Where is samipa in the samasa? Samipa, the word is not there. The, another word, upa, in the sense of samipa is there. Therefore, it is aswapada vigraha. So, the word Abhyaya Upa in the sense of Samipa is compounded to form Abhyaya Samasa, which is a Nitya Samasa. So, because it is a Nitya Samasa, therefore, in the Vigraha Vakya, you will have Aswapada. Right? So, this is an example for Aswapada Vigraha Samasa. So, Swapada Vigraha, Aswapada Vigraha. Similarly, here also, Uddhalaka Pushpana Banjika here, it is not equal to here, just to show you. That is the game in which the name of the game is Uddhalaka Pushpa Banjika. Uddhalaka Pushpa Banjika is the breaking of the Uddhalaka Pushpa. So we have to write uh, the Vigraha if you want to write. 
that is in the crida in which the udalaka pushpa uh, this pushpa, um, flowers are broken it is called uh, udalaka pushpa banjika iti therefore it is a nitya samasa fine now the banjika the word is nulanta word and sanyayam datoho nul pratyabhavati you can see now nul in how many senses it is added kartari nul is there datvarta nul is there then by this sutra 33109 sanyayam api nul pratyabhavati datoho now when nul pratya is is added to the datu nul denotes what pure kriya action so when null pratya denotes only pure action then the karma of that the karma the object of action the object of action will it be uktam or anuktam will be abhigita or anabhigita will be abhigita or anabhigita please answer when it denotes then will it be abhigita or anabhigita the karma of that will be here banjika in what sense null pratyaya is added to the datu banj to break amartha ah huh? it is bavartha is added null pratyaya the karma to this is Dhan. the object of action for breaking is yeah what is that ah uh. huh? what the object Laka of buddhalaka pushpa buddhalaka pushpa uh. right buddhalaka uh. is a name buddhalaka nama pushpa nam banjanam yes yesmin etsyam kridayam bhavati tasya nama buddhalaka pushpa banjika that is how you have to explain okay <laughs> that is the name of the kridaya now here banjika is bhavartha already have given here taka that is a null pratyaya in bhavartha banjika don't think it is karta it is bhava pure action breaking and uddalaka pushpa is what karma right ukta karma ra nukta karma abhigita ra nabhigita anabhigita anna anabhigita no doubt if it is if it is abhigita then what will happen षष्टी भक्ति If karta is there and karma is there, which will take shasti bhakti? Karma. Ah. Karma. Ubaya prapto karma ni. We have seen. Karma ni. Yeah. Ubaya prapto karma ni. Kartar karma no ko kriti. Ubaya prapto karma ni. Examples you have to remember for all. Ubaya prapto karma ni. Let us see that. That is in the in the uh, vibhakti section. Ubaya prapto karma ni. See the example here. आश्चर्य गवाम दोग अगोपाल अगोपाल दिस इज एग्जांपल वी सॉ गवाम दोग इज द क्रिया दोहन क्रिया एंड गोपाल इज द कर्ता गवाम इज द कर्म तो त्रिद्योगे व्हेन देयर इज कृदंता एंड कर्म आल्सो इज देयर कर्ता आल्सो इज देयर दैट्स कॉल्ड उभय प्राप्त उभय पार्थो व्हिच विल टेक कर्म सो व्हिच विल टेक षष्टी व्यक्ति कर्म राइट right? karma that's why gavam is there gavam is shashti vibhakti which is a karma gopalaka and agopalaka agopalaka not the gopala it's a karta karta in what vibhakti when karma and karta both are there and both are anabhigita if karma is not there only karta is there then anabhigita karta will take shashti vibhakti that's called kartari shashti If karta not there, only karma is there. Then karma will take shasti bhakti, anabhikita karma. That is kartari karma ni shasti. Now there are cases where both karma and karta are there. In that case, what will happen? By this sutra, obeya prapta karma ni karma will take shasti bhakti. Understand? This is the example. This year, two number we have seen. So here, 
उभय प्राप्त कर्मणि सूत्रेण कर्मणि षष्टी बग राइट नौ कर्मणि ओके दिस इज अप टू दिस इज फाइन नौ दिस वी आर वी हेव टू एक्स्ट्रा इंफर्मेशन यर बाय द सूत्र कर्मणि कर्मणि सूत्र प्लीज सी टू टू फोर्टी वॉट डज इट से कर्मणि कर्मणि सूत्र से दट षष्ट सुबंत पदम कर्मणि ओके एग्जांपल इट इज एग्जांपल दट बी कर्म ग्रहण षष्टी विशेषण सिद्धांत कौमुदी उभय प्राप्त कर्मणि या षष्टी बवती सा न समस्ते तो यर सेम एग्जांपल या षष्टी व्यक्ति कर्म अस्ट षष्टी व्यक्ति विल इट कांपौंड नो दट इज वाट द सूत्र इज निकेश द कर्म विच विच गॉट षष्टी व्यक्ति विच इज ऑर्न षष्टी व्यक्ति बै उभय प्राप्त कर्मणि That karma, chastyantam subantam padam will not combine with that karma. That negation is what this sutra does. Karma nature. That's a connection. This is not new already. We have seen, right? Is it clear? It's recalling what we have studied. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Therefore, therefore, udala ka pushpa is a karma, and banjika is a. Can you form a compound? By no, by karma nature, we cannot form a compound. Karma nature sutra negates the compounding, right? Shastyantam subantam padam. Shastyantam subantam padam. That is ubaya prapto karma ni iti sutra na yasya yasya karma na ga shasti vyakti bhavati. That shastyantam subantam padam. It will not. Combined with subantam subante na sakana samasate samasaka na bhavati samasa will not happen but samasa has happened here why this is a and also no option also no option here so nityam samasaka bhavati so this sutra is not in fact. What it does is this sutra. It does what does is karma nature by that sutra. Shasti tat purusha samasa which is negated. Not that which is negated is ordained here. Here what it does is the vibhasha was there. Vibhasha the maha vibhasha the two one section that vibhasha in fact it is it is stopped here. Vibhasha, the optionality is stopped here, and it is made nitya samasa. So, this sutra, what it does is, the vibhasha is stopped. The, the vibhasha, the optionality which is ordained for the samasa, it is stopped here in this case, and it is nitya samasa is is ordained. It, this this will be a nitya samasa compound. Always it will be a nitya samasa. So it is not just that karma nature sutra negates the compounding. What it does is the more powerful is is vibhasha. The vibhasha is dismissed for this sutra and compound is made nityam. Now this is the explanation given in detail here in the in the. Uh, Kashika, we want to explain Kashika only. I explained, and in the English you see Vasu. The word ending with Shastiyantam Subadham Padam. Invariably, invariably means Nityam, no choice. So the Vibhasha is dismissed here. The Vibhasha is is stopped for this sutra. Invariably, invariably is invariably the stops the the Vibhasha. There is no Vibhasha here. Invariably, Nityam compounded with the word. Ending with aka, when this prataya denotes a sport, the name of the sport, sanyaya, or livelihood, 
அந்த காம்பவுண்ட் இஸ் தத் புருஷா திஸ் இஸ் அ நித்ய சமாசா இன்கேபபிள் ஆஃப் அனாலிசிஸ் இட் மீன்ஸ் கெனாட் ஹாவ் சொப்பத விக்ரகா பிகாஸ் நித்ய சமாசா ஸோ த வேர்ட் நித்ய சமாசா இட் இட் நித்யம் மீன்ஸ் இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் தர் இஸ் நோ விபாஷா இயர் ஓகே தட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் சேஸ் இயர் So, the anuvritti of the word na, which began with the sutra number 10, na nirdharane, doesn't extend further. Also, the trich, which, has, which never has a sense of sporting and livelihood, so that also doesn't come, only akka comes as anuvritti. So, Uddhalaka Pushpabanjika, a sort of game played by the people in the eastern districts in which Uddhalaka flowers are broken or crushed. Uddhalaka Pushpabanjika, that is how you get this. So, therefore, this is a நித்ய சமாசா ஸோ சமாசா இஸ் மேட் நித்யம் பை நெகேட்டிங் தி விபாஷா தட் இஸ் தி தி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஓகே திஸ் கர்மணி இட் ஹஸ் இட் ஹஸ் இட் ஹஸ் பின் ஆர் இன் கர்மணி கர்மா கர்மா இஸ் ஷஷ்டி பக்தி அண்ட் தஃபோர் கர்மணிச்ச பை தட் சூத்ரா பை கர்மணிச்ச இட்டி த சூத்ரா சமாசா இஸ் நெகேட்டட் ஒன் ஷுட் நாட் திங் Karmanicha, the sutra in a samasa which is negated and by the vibhasha, the optionality itself is negated and is made nitya samasa. That is the force. That is the force of the word nityam. I hope you understand. Ubaya prapto karmani iti sutra in a the karma which is ordained shashti yubhakti and that karma Karmanicha, but the sutra, why that kar- compounding is negated. Here, the, this compounding is not negated. Here, compounding is done. Therefore, what happens here is that Dibasha is dismissed for the sutra. Okay. So, therefore, you get Puddha, Laka, Pushpa, Banjika, Iti, the word. Similarly, another example is, uh, he has given Varana, Pushpa, Prachayika, Other example. Sorry. Other example. Varana Pushpa Prachayika. Prachayika means collection. Here there is something, uh, the collection of the Varana Pushpa. So that is also a sort of game. Another example is given. Uh, this is given somewhere, not in this Kashika. Maybe in Kashika, maybe there. Abhyusha Kadi. Abhyusha Kadi Ka. Then, Achosha Kadi Ka. Achosha Kadi Ka is eating by, uh, by, uh, uh, Chusha, by, uh, what do you call, uh, by sucking, Some, that is Acho Shakatika, it's a game. Similarly, Shala Banjika and Tala Banjika, all these are the names of the game. So, in all this, these are the, all these are names. So, Sanyayam Iti Sutrena Datogu Nul Pratyeha Bhavati and this Nulanta with the with the nulanta the shashtyantam subantam samasyate nitya samasaha bhavati so that those are the example and it is nitya samasa therefore you cannot give swapada vigraha in fact vigraha is not given you have to note because this is a sanya so the sanya in which that is a, the game in which there is the breaking of the flowers so like that we have to explain the vigraha it is aswapada vigraha so this is the example for kreda similarly for for the jivika dantanam lekakaha danta dantanam lekakaha danta lekakaha so here here it is lekakaha that it is null pratyaya is It added in the sense of karta, nul tricho. By that sutra, akka pratya, that is nul pratya, is ordained in the sense of karta. So, therefore, this is a krit. And danta is a karma. 
therefore kartr karmano go shashti by that sutra the karma is uh, is given is ordained shashti bhakti karma is ordained by shashti bhakti and the trijaka abhyam kartri by that sutra what happens trijaka abhyam kartri by that sutra the samasa which is negated is made compulsory so danta lekaha therefore apavada to apavada trijaka abhyam kartri is apavada to shashti tatpuri samasa and for that apavada is it means utsarga apavada to apavada falls in the general shashti so compounding is allowed and it is a nitya samasa so shashtyantam subantam padam samartena subantena saha samasyati samasa kabhavati by 2 to 8 compounding is permitted and the compounding is nitya compounding nitya samasa okay so this is an exception to the exception so nitya nityam krida jivika yoga the nityam the word nityam is important in the sense that it dismisses vibhasha for this sutra the vibhasha doesn't come as anuvarti for this sutra number 1 number 2 this uh, in the in the sanyaya marte the null pratya which is ordained to the datu with that the shastyanta subanta padam will combine and form nitya samasa and this is an exception to the exception exception to the general is trijaka abhyam kartari and the exception to the trijaka abhyam kartari is the sutra therefore compounding is done danta naam lekaha danta lekaha to understand better we'll give a counter example vitireka udaharanam you see vitireka udaharanam why we say krida jivika yoga so suppose if we say odanasya odanasya bojakah bojaka adi karta null pratya like lekaka yes here also it is added in kartari kartari null for which the karma is odana karma is ordained shashti bhakti by karta karma no gosha kriti and trichaka abhyam karti by that sutra samasa is negated so trichaka abhyam karti by that sutra samasa is negated for this now can this be compounded no why because this is not a a krida this is not a, a means for livelihood here in in either of the meaning it is it is there therefore odanasya bojakah it cannot compound it understand this is a counter example yes, that's no difference between this and this both are same it looks same but here compounding is done because it denotes the livelihood similarly the previous one it denotes a sport a krida therefore compounding is done okay only this much you understand as it is okay let us not spend further time on this it, because you have to recollect what we have seen before then only this will become clear i just try to make you understand by giving counter example which already we know we have seen more than as a bojakaha and also note here this bojaka it is is it in yajakadigana yaj, if it is yajakadigana then yajakadivishcha by the sutra compounding can happen this is not in yajakadigana if it is yajakadigana then compounding is possible by yajakadivishcha right yes or no yajakadivishcha is purva apavada it is purva apavada to it is a trijaka abhyam kartari right trijaka abhyam kartari for that purva apavada so in yajakadi this the word is not the so therefore compounding is not done for the nasya pachakah the counter example you can compare with the dantanam lekaha suppose if dantanam dantanam lekaha suppose if it is not a livelihood then some compounding is it possible no if it is not a livelihood then compounding is not possible okay only if it is a livelihood that we jivika then only it is compounding is possible so when you come across such a word where compounding is possible then we have to understand it must be either in krida or jivika so that is the that is the idea okay 
next lord next one the sutra is done so now this is the one sutra after negation if you see the how the sutras are arranged shashti and yajaka divishya shashti tat purusha is ordained from 10 to 16 it is negation again in 17th sutra nityam samasaha samasyate the compounding is made mandatory for what for shashtyantam subantam padam nulanta subantena saha nityam samasyate in what sense kridaya marte jivikaya marte examples we have seen so only for null not for trich so therefore this is apavada to seems apavada to trijakabhyam kartari and more than that it is apavada to vibhasha vibhasha is dismissed so apavada to apavada and also compounding is made compulsory that is the this sutra vityam krida jivika yoga the first sutra this samasa is ordained so after negation one more sutra this is so up to this shashti tat purusha then starts pradi tat purusha samasa number 18 pugati pradaya that we will see later because in the section the first few sutras that we have to see the first few sutras there also it is a sort of shashti tat purusha samasa only but here the thing is you will tell okay uh, you see purva paradarottaram okay i will just split this purva apara adara uttaram right then eka deshi naikadikar eka deshi eka deshi naikadikar okay da uh, then uh, then what eka deshi naikadikarane that you have to split eka desh eka deshin ek, that is eka deshina okay tritya bhakti is eka deshina plus eka adikarane a plus a i bhakti sanji eka deshina eka adikarane we will see how it what, what and all it is how before that this you see purva apara purva apara darottaram what vibhakti is that eka deshina tritya bhakti ekadikarane saptami vibhakti three words are there yeah. the first word is purva paradaro taram what vibhakti dritya ah huh? no it is prathama vibhakti it is prathama vibhakti if it is prathama vibhakti then what meaning is that what is the importance significance of that shashti is there 2 to 8 what is shashti what vibhakti shashti is उपसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर्जनमेंसर
and this purva parada all these are the, the they, they become upasarjana because it is in pratama vibhakti therefore it will be placed first it will be placed first in the samasa now here also in my notes it is not complete but i will explain by writing you can see here purva para adara uttaram pratama vibhakti ekavachanam therefore upasarjanam upasarjanam purvam bhavati in the compound Upasarjanam will be Purvam. Okay. Eka deshi na. Then eka adhikarane. Fine. Eka adhikaranam is eka adhikaranam. That is, the locus is only one. Eka adhikaranam. Not many. Only one. Eka deshi na. Here we have to understand this words. Eka deshi. Eka desha, eka deshi. I'll explain what is Ekadesha, Ekadeshi. First, let us see this. Purva para adhara uttara iti ete subantaha. Iti ete subantaha. You see, because it is Pratama Bhakti. Chastyantam subantam padam samartena subantena vibhasha samasite vise. Similarly, Purva para adhara uttara iti ete subantaha. Right? Because it is Upasarjanam Pratama Bhakti. Subantaha. Or subantam padam, whatever it is. Samarthena subantena saka samasyate. What samas, what uh, samartha subanta pada? Eka adhikarana vachina. It means eka drabhya vachina. Eka adhikarana. That it should be a, the loka should be only one. It should be a eka drabhya. That is, it should be a eka drabhya means it should be one integral whole, only one. You will see what it is. Then Eka Deshina. Eka Deshi means Abhyavi. Abhyavina. Abhyavina Samartena Subantena Saka Vibhasha Samasyante Tat Purusha Samasaka Bhavati. This is an Apavada to Shashti Samasaha Shashti Tat Purusha Samasaha. The Subanta words Purva Para Adara Uttara May optionally com compound, combined with an avayavi. What is an avayavi? Eka deshi means avayavi. Eka deshi na. Pratipadika means eka deshin. Eka deshi. Eka deshi nao. Eka deshi na. Right? Tritya bhakti is eka deshi na. So, eka deshi. Eka deshin. Eka deshi. What is eka deshi? Eka deshi means avayavi ityartaha. What is an avayavi? What is Avayava? What is Avayavi? What is Anga? What is Angi? See, Ashtanga Yoga we say, right? Ashtanga Yoga. Anga Angi. Even in Pratyahara we say Anga Angi. Avayava Avayavi. What is Avayavi? Avayavi means what? That which has Avayava, right? Avayavaha asya astiti avayavin, right? That which has parts is called avayavi, right? Yes or no? Yeah. The sharira means avayavi or not? Yeah. Because sharira has got parts. Avayavas oh. are the legs, hands, etc. Yeah. So, avayavaha asya astiti avayavi, avayavin, nakaranda shabda avayavi. So, ekadeshi, all are same on the. So, instead of using the word ekadeshi, I am using the word avayavi. So we can note from this, Eka Deshi means Avayavi, right? One integral whole. That is Avayavi. And then what is Avayava? Parts. Eka Desha. Eka Deshi is Avayavi. Eka Desha is Avayava. Parts. Now, Purva Paradara Uttara, these words, combine with Avayava or Avayavi. Not with Avayava, with the Avayavi. Right? Yeah. Just for example, I'm saying, take Purva. Purva word combining with the Shariram. Shariram is Avayavi or Avayava? Avayavi. 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 So Purva, then Shariram, possible. Shariram is Kaya. You can take the word Kaya. Purvam, that's in fact, that is the example we are going to see. Purvam Kayasya. Purvakaya samasa. Purvam 
காயசிய காயா மீனிங் ஷரீரம் பூர்வம் காயசிய பூர்வ காய பூர்வம் நாபி ஹி சப்போஸ் பேசே பூர்வம் நாபி நாபி இஸ் அவேவா ரவேவி பூர்வம் <laughs> காயசிய <laughs> Purvam Kayasya, not Kaya Purva. This is Samasa is not by 2 to 8. Samasa is by 2 to 1. Okay, I will give the example and then come here. Purvam Kayasya, Purva is a word which is in the Sutra. Purva, Para, Adara, Uttara, Uttaram. So, Purvam iti Subantam Padam. Now, combined with Subantera Saha Samasyate. Samasaha Bhavati, what Samasa? Here Kayasya is there. Kayasya Shashtyantam Subantam Padam. Purva is Purva the word. Now in this, which is Upasarjanam, if you take 2 to 8, if the compounding is it by 2 to 8, then Kayasya is Upasarjanam, right? If the compounding is by 2 to 1, then Purva is Upasarjanam. But 2 to 1 specifically says Purva. Therefore, Kayasya will not enjoy the Upas, Upasarjana Sanya. Understand? Yes. Puram only will enjoy this Upasarjana. Therefore, that will be placed first. Puram Kayasya. Not, you can say Kayasya Puram. But when you compound, it will be Puram Kayasya. Puram will be the Upasarjana Puram Padam. Because it is enjoys the Sanya Upapadam. Uh, sorry, Upasarjana <laughs> by this Sutra. This is in Pratama Vibhakti. Is it clear? We'll see more, more in, uh, elaborately now. Just uh, in the example you see. Why this is Apavada to Shashti? Kayasya Purvam. Suppose it is given. The word is given. Kayasya Purvam. Kaya before the Shariram. Kaya is the Avayava. With the Avayava word, the Purvam, the word combines. Now, this will not compound by Shashti Tat Purusha Samadha. That is Shashti 2 to 8. Kayasya is that. So, Shashti and Subantam Padam, Samarthena Subantena Saka Samasyate, you cannot say. Why? Because Purva is the very word is there in the Sutra 2 to 1. And it enjoys the Sanya Upasarjana. And therefore, in compound, Upasarjana comes first. Therefore, Purvam is the Purva, uh, Purva Pada. The word Purvam is the Purva Pada. So, Purvam Subantam Padam Samarthena Subantena Yer Kaya That combines and it forms Samasa Purva Kaya Not Kaya Purva This is Therefore, only Apavada to Shashti Tat Purusha Samasa Right? Now, this example understood Then you see now The words, Subanta words Purva, Apara, Adara, Uttara Purva Adara Uttariti Ete Svantaha Eka Adhikarana Vachina This word is also important. We will see what it is. Eka Adhikarana Vachina Eka Adhikarana Vachina For that one, I will give another example. You will understand it better. We will come to that later. Eka Adhikarana Vachina is equal to Eka Drabya Vachina. It is. Eka Drabya means one It is one Drabya One Substance and it is ekavachi, it is must be one, uh, it should not be many ekavachi, ekadikaranam. It should not, adikaranam should not be multiple. It is one adikaranam, one locus. For the example, it would be better. We will see that. Now, here ekadeshina, ekadeshina is avayavira ityartaha. Avayavi, ekadeshina is avayavi. Therefore, these words can combine with an avayava, oh, sorry, avayavi to form a Tat Purish Samasa. So, Avayavi must be a single unit composite. It must be a single unit, one whole. So, Angi Ityapaha. Angaha Asyastiti Angi. That which is Anga, that which is Avayava is called Avayavi. Right? 
if this was a case of shashti tatpuri samasa you see what will happen the word in the shashti bhakti of the vigraha would have become upasarjanam kayasya would have become upasarjanam by shashti tatpuri samasa but in this compound what happens we want the words purva to be placed first in the compound purva nipata we want only these words purva apara adara uttara therefore only this sutram is there okay now the sutra little more so you can remember ekadeshi means ekadeshina means it is it is avayavi ityata ekadesha means avayava therefore this samasa is called otherwise called ekadeshi samasa the samasa can be can be called ekadeshi samasa okay i will write here avayavi that is ekadeshi to form a samasa and such samasa are called ekadeshi samasa optionally you can call like this also ekadeshi samasa now in the sutra three words are there purva para adara uttara ekadeshina tritya vibhakti then why it is ekadi karane saptame vibhakti ekadi karane saptame vibhakti ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟಿವ್ಟ
which we say the bhakti. So we have to, that's why we are converting that into Tritya Bhakti. Okay. More it is given in the other other uh, parts. Anyway, that we that uh, we will see that later if required. Now, coming back to the Sutra here. This is one thing, number one. Number two. Number two is, now, Number two, Pratama Nidhishtam Samase Upasarajanam. Therefore, Purva will be enjoyed Upasarajana Sanya. Therefore, in a compound, this will come first. And Purvam combining with yeah, Avayavi, not Avayava. Avayavi. So, Purvam Kayasya, Purva Kayaha, not Kaya Purvaha. So, Purvam Kayasya, Purvam is Purva plus Am. It is Pratama Purva plus Am. It is Pratama Bhakti Ekavachana, Purva plus Am. Purva is uh, Purva Shabda, Purvaha, Purva, Purvaha. So in Napumsa Kalinga, it is Am only. Okay, Purva plus Am. Like Ato Am, that happens. I hope you remember Ato Am, Palam Pale Palani. Similarly, Purvam Purve. So here it is Pratama Bhakti. Then Kaya is Kaya plus Ness. I hope you remember this, right? Ato Am. What is Ato Am? Here Am. How you get Am? Am means yes. don't think it is. It is not Pratyaya Not Vitiya, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It is not Vitiya. It is Pratama Bhakti. In Napum Sakalinga. Napum Sakalinga, Adanta Shabda, what will happen? Ato um. I don't want to get into that. You know, Palam Pare, how do you get Palam? Yeah, Su and Amma replaced by Am, right? Su and Amma replaced by Am. Um, okay. yeah. ah, therefore, Pratama Bhaktiyam. Generally, we think by seeing the Am, it is Vitya Bhakti. It should be meaningful, right? So, it is not Vitya, it is Pratama only. Okay. Yeah. Adanta Shabda, Su and Am will be replaced by Am. So, therefore, this is Pratama Bhakti Purvam. So, this is Alokika Vigraha I am writing. So, Am, what will happen to Am and Nas? Will be? What will happen? Supodhatu Pratipati Ki Yogo, Lukka Bhavati. I have to drop that. Purva Kaya. Now, Purva Kaya is ending with what? Anta A. Therefore, Kaya being in Apumsakalinga. Therefore, Paralinga Vata. The Linga will be in keeping with the Uttarapada. Right? Parvat Lingam Bhavati. Therefore, Parvat Lingam, if, depending on the what it qualifies, it, then it will become Purva Kaya or Purva Kaya, whatever it is. Right? Purva Kaya plus Su. Then becomes Purva Kaya. Etc. Kaya is uh, Kaya 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 I think Pulling maybe okay. okay Pulling Therefore Kapurva Kaya Fine This is an exception to Sashti Samasa That is 2 to 8 Which is ordained by uh, 2 to 8 Which should have placed Purva Last in the compound Because The Sashti Antam Is in the nominative case Whereas here In the Sutram The Purva etc Are in the Pratama Bhakti Already we saw it. Explain this. But they take the precedence by the Sutra, Upasarjanam Purvam and Pratamana Yudhishtam, Samase Upasarjanam. In the compound Purva Kayaha, Purva, the word, is compounded with, with the word Kayasya. Kayasya is, it is expressive of Avevi. It is Aveva. Avevi. Denoting a single object. Similarly, we have Aparaha Kayasya. Aparaha Kaya here becomes Aparakaya. Right? Yes. Aparaha Kaya here becomes Aparakaya. Aparam, not Aparaha. Can take Aparam. Aparam Kaya here. Similarly, Adaram Kaya here, lower part of the body. Lower part of the body. Adarakaya. Uttaram Kaya here. Uttarakaya, back part of the body. So Aparakaya is a compound. Now you know by seeing these words, you know which compound is Purva Kaya, other Kaya, Uttara Kaya is an example. You can replace it by Sharira or any other. This uh, instead of body, you can take something which is Griha, uh, suppose you could take upper Grigam, back part of the house, Purva Grigam, frontal portion of the house, like that possible. Okay. Now, now next one. Why the word Ekadeshina is required in the Sutram? Why Ekadeshi is required? Why that Abhayavi 
because to avoid compounding purvam nabehe kayasya what does it mean kaya is kayasya kaya is the avevi and nabi is the avayava of the avevi right with the avevi the compounding is prohibited purva the word cannot come combined with the avayava of the avevi therefore the word ekadeshina what it what is required in the sutra so what it does is it it says that it, that purva etc these words will not combine with the avayava nabi is 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 not ekadeshi it is not avayavi what is the nabi nabi is nabi means stomach right puram nabe he kayasya so here it is avayava therefore with the avayava it will not combine so don't try to combine purvam nabehe nabehe is shashti bhag nabehe kayasya so purva nabi oh no that will that is not possible compounding cannot be done compounding only with the avayava only with the the single unit not with the parts of the that unit that is why the word ekadeshina is required in the sutra this is number 1 understand this counter example this is yeah. because avayava therefore no compounding number 2 why the word ekadikarana in the sutra ekadikaranam we have to do vivakti parinama i told so ekadikarane na ekadeshina suvantena saha samasyate we have to say to avoid compounding purva chatranam chatranam yes you tell me it is it ekadikaranam yes or no but what do you understand by chatrana purvaha chatrana means what is purvaha chatrana before the boys right before the the boys chatrana is what vibhakti what vibhakti what shakti vibhakti bhagavachana right here chatrana it is ekadikarana adikarana is is not one adhikaram uh, don't think it is uh, the locus it will be saptami uh, not like that here that is to avoid compounding ekadi karana is placed in the sutra okay ekadi uh, here there is a typo ekadi karana chatrana means many boys not one boy if it is purva chatrasya then you can say purva chatraha that is fine but chatrana means bhagavachan it denotes samudaya a group right so purvam chatrana okay well, let's uh, suppose a yeah, vakya yeah, like this purvam chatrana amantrayasva amantrayasva this example is given in kashika so here yeah, यद् पूर्वं छात्राणां छात्राणां यद् अवयवि अवयवि इज छात्राणां फाइन दिस इज अवयव नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ द बॉय एंड बॉय इज यस समुदाय इट इज अ ग्रुप इट इज नॉट इन इट इज नॉट एकवचनम इफ इट इट इज बहुवचनम छात्र इज अवयव अब सॉरी छात्र इज अवयवि बट छात्राणां बिकम्स देन इट इज ए समुदाय ए ग्रुप so it is not ekadikarana it is bahu adikarana it is multiple adikarana it is so therefore purva chatranam therefore purva the word cannot combine with chatranam though the chatra is an avayavi but it is not ekadikaranam it is multiple adikarana ekadikaranam is many yeah, yeah adikaranams are many not ekadikarana not one adikarana not in the boy in the boys of the boys so it means it should be ekavachanam simple it should be purva chatraha then compounding purva cha purvam chatrasya mantra yasva then compounding would have been possible purva chatraha iti purva chatrana purvam chatrana then here compounding is not allowed compounding is not possible that is the importance of the word ekadikaranam ek adhikarana means it should be in one single composite unit it should be ekavachanam ityartha for your understanding i can say ekavachanam not bhagavachanam 
not Bhagavachan, but Dvivachan. Understand? Yes. Okay. And uh, therefore, here, don't think here it is na nirdharana by the samasa has not happened. Here, samasa has not happened because here it is not ekadikaranam. Right? Ekadikaranam, therefore. Therefore, the compounding here not possible. These are the examples. Let us see the sutra here, the website, the same Kashika. Purvam Kayasya, Purva Kaya, Aparam Kayasya, Aparakaya, Similarly, other Kaya Uttara Kaya Chatra. Eka Deshina Itikim, Purvam uh, Nabehe, okay, Nabehe, it's not uh, typo. Purvam Nabehe Kayasya, Nabi is Aveva, uh, sorry, uh, Nabi is Aveva of the Avevi Kaya, therefore with the Aveva, Purvam cannot combine. That is one. Eka Adikarna Itikim, Purvam Chatra, Nam. Just give the example, but in the example we have to understand. Purvam Chatrana Amantraya, Ramantraya Sva, whatever it is. Chatrana means Bhagavachanam. Therefore, it will not, Puram, the word cannot combine. Okay. Then Siddhanta Kumarikara, what he says, we'll see. Eka Adikarnekim Purvaha Chatrana. That's what he says, Puram Chatranam. And further, Adikaranam. Adikaranam means Dravyam. Adikaranam is Dravyam. Ek, ekam Adikaranam. Eka Adikaranam is giving a summer. What does it mean? The Samasa and all. Ekatva Visishta Dravya. Ekatva Visishta Dravya. The Dravya, the meaning is substance. It should be a, a substantive one substance, and that it is visishta by ekatva. It is ekavachan, not bhagavachan. Ekatva visishta dravye vartamane avyava vachika svante na purva paradara uttar shabdaha svantaha samasyate tat purusha samasaha bhavati. Very clearly he says, Bala Manorama, the Tika to Siddhanta Komadi. He says, Adhikaranam meaning dravyam. Eka madhikaranam it should be. Eka adhikaranam is eka dravyam. Simple. Eka dravyam. Chatranam is many dravyam. Many are the Bhagavachanam. Therefore, with, with that it did not combine. Therefore, ekatta visishta dravye. Eka adhikarane. Eka adhikarana vachina. Aveva vachina. Subantena. Saha. This purva para daravutra shabdaha samasyante. I hope this is clear. Right? Yes. Can you follow? Therefore, Ekadikarnam is equal to Ekatva Visishta Dravyaha Ityartaha. Right? Ekatva Visishta Dravya Vachina. That's called Ekadikarana. Then. He say ekatva, ekatva sanya. Ekatva sanya means ekavachan vidyartaha. Ekatva sanya visishtaha shed avayavi. Okay. Now, this is done. In here, here only some more things are there. Now, here you see. Katam madhyanaha, sayanaha. What is madhyanaha? Afternoon, right? Sayanaha, evening. That is also compound, samasa only. We never thought about all this before. Madhyana, how the word Madhyana comes, Madhyanikam and Dal, we say Madhyanikam, Purvanaha, Madhyanaha, Sayanaha, Purvanaha, afternoon, I mean, uh, forenoon. How these words come? This requires some explanation. That's a little elaborately, we'll see that. Though I have written here, but uh, this is not satisfactory, we'll see more. For that, I'll... First, we will see the sutra. I will give an introduction to this by giving explain, explaining this 63110. So, up to this, is it clear? Puram, Purva Kayaha, Adar Kayaha, and why it is Puram Nabehe, Kayasya, Samasaha Nabhavati, right? Yes. Now, now, we will see how this Madhyanaha Sayanaha, how is it is possible? See, why we discuss this? Madhya, Madhyanaha. Annaha means what? Annaha 
ಶಬ್ದಾಂತ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ಅಗಹ ಅಹನಿ ಅಹಾನಿ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಶಬ್ದ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸುಬಂತ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ದ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಗಹ ಅಗನಿ ಅಹಾನಿ ಅಗಹ ಅಗನಿ ಅಹಾನಿ ದೆನ್ ಅಣ್ಣ ahobyam ahobihi like that form comes right this shabda this shabda you see now now madhyanna madhyanna is when you write the 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 of madhyanna is samasa but it is afternoon part of the day annaha madhyam madhyanna annaha madhyam that becomes madhyanna and have what vibhakti shakti vibhakti okay. for your understanding i can put it like this also no problem annaha madhyam that is uh, right they are saying but okay madhyam annaha madhyam the word is not in the sutra is it that the sutra in this current sutra purva adara only is there purva adara purva uh, adara uttara apara etc only madhya the word is not there but that also can be included that's what we are going to see now madhyam annaha annaha is the day madhyam annaha becomes madhyanaha annaha madhyam madhyanaha so here it is a shashti tat purusha masa annaha is what vibhakti shashti it is shashti so annaha you can see it is shashti vibhakti annaha is it shashti shashti tat purusha masa no annaha madhyam suppose if it is shashti tat purusha masa then it would have become anna uh, that is agan should have come first agan madhya then whatever is supposed to happen it will happen right but that is not the one annaha madhyam is purva purva nipata is madhya then after that only anna comes right so like this sutra purva adara uttara same thing so here the shashti this uh, samasa is not by shashti tat purusha samasa if it is by shashti tat purusha samasa then this would be this would come purva but that is not purva madhyam is purva right so madhyanaha you get it fine so to explain this, this how this is uh, madhyanaha for that only this explanation is katam madhyanaha sayanaha iti the madhya the word is not mentioned in the sutra and annaha is shashti bhakti why don't you compound with the 2 to 8 shashti tat purusha masa no it will not happen katam madhyanaha sayanaha iti that we will see how do you get the compound madhyanaha sayanaha iti sankhya vi saya purvasya here you can see sankhya then vi saya what is saya saya the word sayan kala saya purvasya annasya agan iti antanyatarasyam nau iti gnyapakat it is a gnyapakam the sutra is a gnyapakam gnyapakam for what this says sankhya sankhya means number v is upasarga saya purvaka purva purva purvaka when these words precedes anna shabda these words precede anna shabda when these words will precede anna shabda only in samasa right only in samasa this will precede purva pada will be purvasya means what purva pada sankhya meaning number v is upasarga saya purvasya means purva pada purvam purvam to anna when then anna is a uttara pada purva must be purva that is uh, this must be purva pada so when this is purva pada uttara pada then it must be compound or not yes. anna must be preceded by sankhya v saya etc only in the compound only when it becomes compound we get the the words like uh, 
you will see the sutra 631110 that is a gnyapakam okay that sutra we are not seeing but we have to know that it is a gnyapakam it is a reminder it tells something kashika you see sanyavisaya iti evam purvasya anna shabdasya sthane okay only this part we will see other things we will see later so anna shabda preceded by purva purvaka sanya visaya therefore this is possible only in a compound right fine when this compound happens what he says is that agan anna shabda anna shabdasya sthane agan iti ayam adeshaha bhavati anna will be replaced by agan anna will be replaced by agan when does it happen when nau parataha nau means what saptami ni nau nau parataha when ni follows this will be replaced by agan optionally anya tarasya okay first uh, we will see the example dvayoho annaha bhavaha so annaha how you get this you see I'll just uh, type here. This uh, the example is dvayoho. Dva dvayoho annaha. Dvayoho annaha. Now compounding we are going make make it. The six three one is a nyapaka to tell that that this is a sanya. Sanya precedes the anna shabda. Sanya precedes the Anna Shabda. In the compound, this, that is a Sanya. Sankhya, not Sanya. Sankhya. Sankhya is Sankhya precedes Anna Shabda. Anna Shabda. And Sankhya is Dvi. Right? Sankhya is Dvi. In this example I am explaining, Sankhya is Dvi. Dvi plus V plus Annaha. So, Anna Shabda preceded by this Sankhya, the number, this example, V. So, this Sutra is a, is a Nyapakam to tell that Anna, when it is preceded by Sankhya or V or Saya, anything you can take. I just take the example of Sankhya. If you take Saya, for example. If you take Saya, for example, it is becomes Saya. Then what happens is Anna will be replaced by. Okay, that will come to later. Now, D plus Anna. V, v, v plus Anna, that is Dvayoho. Dvayoho Annaha. And you do the compounding. Dvayoho is, is what? V plus Nas and Annaha is Agan Shabda. Agan plus Annaha, what will be? Dvayoha is not, uh, it, is, it is not uh, Shashti, sorry. It is what the Vakti. Dvayoha is? Yeah, it, it is Dvayoha. Uh, Dvayoha, Annaha, Bhavaha. Okay, it is. It is uh, it is Vayoha is Shashti Bhakti. Yeah, it's Nas. Then Annaha also is a Shashti. In the example, Annaha is a Shashti Bhakti. That is okay. Let us take Annaha as Pratama Bhakti. It's here. Vayoho, daytime. Vayoho, here we can take this as to be Vayoho. Ahaha only. Ahaha. Ahaha it is. Not Annaha. Ahaha. Okay. Ahaha. Vayoho, Ahaha. Agan plus two. Now, this compounding is the possibility is shown by this sutra. Sankhya vi saya purvasya annasya agan anitrasyam. Now, now we will see. Now, first let us do this compound. Here, what will happen? This v plus o will come. Uh, v plus o. It's okay. Yeah. Shasti vibhakti, that's it. So, v plus o. Now, you drop that v, then v, then agan will come. Right? 
So what you get, V plus Rm will become. This is a Padam. Hello, Pahapadipati Kantasya. You can apply, right? Therefore, you will have Dvi. Akha will become Veha, right? Yes, Akha sir. will go or not? Yeah. Because Padam, Nalo Pahapadipati Kantasya applies. So Dvi Akha. Now, Dvi Akha is the, the word. Now, when you decline this word, when you decline this word, in Saptami Vibhakti, Ekavachana, what happens? This plus Ni. That's what the Sutra says here. The sutra says only for Saptami Vibhakti, Agan will be replaced, uh, Anna will be replaced by Agan. Okay. That is, the that is what the sutra says. And this becomes a Nyapakam for Samasa to form. Okay. Now I'm just making uh, the, uh, writing the form for Saptami Vibhakti Ekavachana. And it is optional. So Dvyaka plus Ni will become, when Ni follows, here what is there? Agan is there. That is V and Agan. That, that Agan will be replaced by, replaced by, the, the Agan will be, uh, Anna will be, sorry, Anna will be replaced by V Aha plus G, the compound, okay, let me write like this, V Aha, that Aha will be replaced by Agan. So therefore, what will happen? V Agan plus G, therefore it will become V agani. This is one form. Other this is this is optional form. V agani. Otherwise, what will happen? If it doesn't do, then it becomes it, it is uh, if you if you don't do, then the form would be it is akaranta shabda, like Rama Shabda. So Rama plus ni will become Rame Dviahe. So this mm -hmm. is form. So this is one form, this is another form. Anyway, this Saptami Vibhakti of the Shabda, we are, okay, so we are not interested in that, but I'm just telling this is there, explain the Sutra, the Sutra 63110, which is a Nyapakam for forming a, a Samasa, where the Anna Shabda is preceded by Sankhya or V or Saya. Because of Saya, we can bring Madhya, etc. That is the connection. Okay, now this example, Vayakani and Vayakani, hey, you can see that in the example. Vayoho, Annaha, Bhavaha, Vayaha, Prathama Bhakti, this is. Prathama Bhakti, there is no option. So like Ramaha, Dvayaha, Tumali, Trayaha, uh, Dvayanaha, sorry, Dvayanaha, Trayanaha, that Anna Shabda is not replaced by uh, that Ahan. So there will be, therefore, uh, Shashti Bhakti has given. Vayannaha, Trayannaha, and Saptami Bhakti, if you see, Dvaya Ahani or Dvayanni. When it is replaced by Agan Shabda, Agan Shabda, you can have to note the form. Agani or Anni form is there. So, therefore, two forms will be there. Here we can say Dvaya Ahani or, that's why Anna Shabda is important, Dvayanni. Or this is one more form. So, three forms. Right? Agani, Anni. The, the Shabda is, this Shabda is required. Agani Shabda. So, Dvayahani or Dvayanni. That's what he has given. Dvayahani or Dvayanni. Right? This is option. Optional forms are given. Or otherwise, Rama Shabda, we can do. You will have that Dvayahe, that Dvayanne. Uh, like Dvayaha plus A become Dvayahe, like Rama Shabda. Okay. The, the point here is, Agan Shabda when preceded by this, then the Anna Shabda when preceded by this, Anna Shabda will be replaced by Agan. When we say, therefore, compounding is indicated here. Here, compounding. Without compounding, it cannot be Purva. Only when preceded by Sankhya Vistaya, Anna Shabda is replaced by Agan means it must be a compound. Therefore, this sutra becomes a Nyapaka. This sutra becomes a Nyapaka. So therefore, the therefore the, the word Agan Shabda can combine with therefore the word Agan Shabda, the Agan Shabda, with the Agan Shabda, any Avayavachi can combine. Any Avayavachi with the Agan Shabda, uh, Agan Shabda, Agan Shabda, na, Avayavachi. Shabdasya samasaha bhavati. Therefore, 
Sama, when samasa happens, the same thing here. Madhya plus Anna, if you take. Madhya, Madhya plus an, Annaha Madhyam. Now we are, we are going to do samasa. Annaha Madhyam. Annaha is Saptama Yudhati. Annaha Madhyam. Here, what happens is, Agan is, Annaha is, Agan plus Nas. And uh, Madhyam is, Madhya plus Su. Pratama Bhakti Ekabacham. Madhya plus Su. So, Agan plus Nas and Madhya plus uh, Su. This is Alokika Vigraha. Now, by the current Sutra, Purva, Adara, Uttara Ekadeshana, by that, we can combine and form a Samasa. When you form Samasa, here, Madhya will get the Sanya, Upasarjana Sanya. Madhya will get the Sanya, Upasarjana, and Agan will come. That uh, an, Agan will come later, right? Agan. Madhya plus Agan. Agan, Agan means this Annaha. And this Annaha is nothing but Agan plus Nas. So I'm just uh, removing the, the, the Pratya. Supadatu Pratipaditi Yoho. Look directly uh, doing it. Madhya plus Su, then Agan plus Nas. Then Supadatu Pratipaditi Yoho. When you remove the sup, uh, Supratyas, then Madhya and Agan. Now Madhya plus Agan, you got it. So Madhya plus Agan, then here what will happen? There is a Madhya plus Agan, it's a, it's a Pratipadikam. Madhya plus Agan. So now it is a Pratipadikam. You will have Madhya, Madhyahan. You will have Madhyahan. Now here what happens? There is one Pratya, touch Pratya. There is touch Pratya. Should be added. Otherwise you will not get Madhyanaha. Please note. Why we are touch pratya? Touch pratya is samasanta pratya. Touch pratya is samasanta pratya. When do you add the samasanta pratya? Touch pratya. There are samasanta pratyas discussed in samasa section, and there is a specifically a sutra is there for agan shabda five four forty nine uh, five four ninety one. You can see here raja agha sakibya touch that agan is there. So when the Uttara Padam is Agan or Raja or Saki, the compound will take touch pratyaya. Tat Purushasya. Tat Purusha Samasa. The compound will take touch pratyaya when the Uttara Pada is Raja, Agan or Saki Vyaha. That is why Maharaja, how do you get? Mahancha Asu Raja. Raja is Rajan. Raja is Rajan. How do you get Maharaja? Maharaja is Akaranta Shabda. You can see Maharaja. Just I will explain this uh, Maharaja. All these are connected. That's why this is uh, good also to know. Yes, Maharaja. Mahancha Asu Raja. Mahancha Asu Raja. What Samasa it is? It is Karmadare Samasa. So Mahan plus Su. And similarly, Rajan plus Su. Now, Supadatu Pradipati gives a look if you do. Then you will have Mahan and then Rajan. Fine. Now, here, in Mahan, there is a, in 6 3 section, one, uh, one uh, replacement is there where Mahan will be replaced by Maha. Maha Rajan you get. Now, Uttarapadam is Rajan. Maharajan, this two, this Ravitara Maharajan, you need to add the touch pratyaya. Touch pratyaya bhavati. Touch pratyaya, content of touch pratyaya is A only. Takara is it letter, therefore it is A. Now A follows. Now what, what will happen when A follows? What sanya does it get? Basanya. Basya, bas, basya te lopaha will happen. Therefore, An will go away. Therefore, Maharaj will be there. So, Maharaj plus A, you will get Maharaja. That is how you get Maharaja. Now, Akaranta pulling ha, Maharaja Shabda. Rajan is Nakaranta. Now, it becomes Akaranta Shabda. Maharaja ha, Maharaja. Maharaja ha, iti touch pratya. Okay. Similarly, here also, see Kaji Maharaja an example. Madra, Madraja, Madrasya Raja, Raja, Madra Raja ha. Similarly, Agan Shabda also it is there. 
when again is the uttara pada then what will happen touch pratyaya to be added when you add touch pratyaya so this we can remove this this is only to see make you understand so madhyahan plus touch pratyaya madhyahan plus touch pratyaya touch pratyaya when you add touch content is a therefore vasyate lokaha yati lopa will happen so you will have madhya plus a therefore you will have madhya t lopaha will happen right then you will have madhya madhyaha and here one more sutra will apply one more sutra one more sutra will come and it will negate the touch pratyaya okay touch pratyaya is ordained i said now there is another sutra 64145 again i will explain the last class just time not there just quickly here you see anaha takoho eva at lopaha tehe tadite this by this sutra agani iti etasya ta khoho eva parataha ti lopa bhavati this sutra says the ti lopa which is happens the ti lopa the ti lopa happens by this sutra the sutra you can see the a of agan is elided only before the affixes ta and kh here touch pratya we added so before ta that uh, that a of agan will elide it says but this is this is is further negated by annaha agaha ete byaha it is little complicated this for the agan shabda where it is substituted an anna when preceded by the above words agan or sarva etc okay um here you see when the touch pratyaya follows agan and the later is preceded by the word sarva etc then the anna is substituted for agan so finally by this sutra this anna is substituted for agan therefore here agan is there that is finally replaced by Ag agan is replaced by anna therefore you will have madhyanna here dirga sadhi madhyanna so agan is replaced by anna that is 5488 annaha anno hannaha etebhya by that sutra anna adesha will come in the place of agan and after that savana dirga sandhi will happen and a madhyana you get then you can add supratya etc agan shabda being an apumsaka linga therefore madhyanam parvat linga bhavati pullinga also is possible pullinga in fact pullinga it is because uh, Uh, agan shabda even though it is tapun sakalinga but now it is uh, madhyanna it is uh, parvat linga anna is akaranta shabda therefore one more sutra is that by that it is becomes a pullinga that we will see next class so becomes madhyanaha madhyanna madhyanaha you can decline like rama shabda so this to derive this madhyana so many sutras are involved begins with the nyapakam this sutra okay so i know it will be difficult to follow this because four sutras are involved one sutra applies and another sutra comes and negates that we will see in the next class elaborately i have not prepared notes uh, just quickly explain this so the sutras what are involved i will tell you you can just go through the sutra 5411 number 1 5411 by that touch samasanta pratyaya is ordained that is number 1 Five four eleven, five four, sorry ninety one, not eleven. Ah, five four ninety one. This is one sutra. You can go through this. Then you, then we will see next class. Raja has sakish, sakish, the sakib yaha touch. This is one sutra. Then six four one forty five, six four one forty five. It is in the bar section. Anha. Anush Takore Eva by this sutra, T Lopa happens. This is the sutra six four one forty five. This is in Ba Adi Adikara. Then five four eighty eight. That sutra Anno Naha Yete Bhaya Anha 
is replaced it's replaced agan shabda agan shabda is replaced annaha is pratipadikam is agan agan shabda is replaced by anna that is what happens finally ete bhyah agan shabda is replaced by anna therefore madhyanna you get not madhyaha madhyanna this is the last sutra is applied applied so 1 2 3 3 sutras are applied by which you get madhyanna and if you include 63110 four sutras so four sutras are involved we will see we will see elaborately in the next class i don't expect you to understand everything what i said some inkling of what is going to come uh, for the the derivation of the word the compound madhyanna katam madhyanah to explain madhyanah really madhyana will come so four sutras are there so we don't have time now so we will stop here so up to this previous one you understand ek ekadikaranam ekad ekadeshina ekadikaranena that uh, the purvadara etc combine and form samasa that is enough this we will see in the next class i will explain further not again further not further again i will explain with uh, my notes okay mm -hmm. so we need to have some uh, background about samasa and pratyas etc so we will see the next class okay okay Really, it will take a madhyana. If I start doing this, all the four sutras explain elaborately with example, and and also the sutras involve one is not applied, the other one is applied. Therefore, I have to explain why this is so. So that it will take time, and this is going to be the for the next sutra also. The next sutra also is a little complicated. That is going that is ardham napum sakam sutra simple way you can present, but that that will not give the complete details of the sutra. So there also we have to see many. inner details so this will take another one class so we will see in the next class and uh, uh, wish you all happy new year shobakrit abindrani so we will stop here that's why i don't want to prolong it we'll stop here we'll see next week right om purnamadav purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमाधाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं यू कैन टेक दिस होम द फोर सूत्र सिक्स थ्री डबल वन जीरो देन फाइव फोर नाइंटी वन सिक्स फोर वन फोर्टी फाइव एंड फाइव फोर एटी एट these four sutras are required to explain how we get the word madhyanah i just quickly did it uh, difficult to follow what i said now i know it but you can with the help of the website you can try if you please note the number 63110 5491 yes. 63110 is a gyapakam and 5411 is by which the touch pratyaya is ordained Four then, nine. Sorry, five four ninety one. Okay, I will write here. One is six three one one zero. This is the gap up, right? Number one and number two five four ninety one. Touch pratyaya, samasanta pratyaya, and six four one forty five by which T lopa happens, right? That is negated by five four eighty eight. If you don't know, this is that's no problem. But we know T lopa. We have seen, but not this sutra. But T lopa generally we know, so that will apply. We tend to apply. That should not be applied. That is what said by the sutra five four eighty eight. Therefore, we need to know five one six four one forty five also. These four sutras have to be known to know the form. How this form comes, right? So we will see the four sutras uh, a little elaborately in next class. Yes, but you can do homework. As I told you, these are the sutras. So you can try. I'll try. Yes. Okay. Please try. Try and uh, send it your understanding. Your to what's what you understood of this word. What each sutra says. Then will be easy for the next class. Yes. yes. You know many things. You know it. You can read the sutra and try to understand. But what sutra applies? When it applies, you don't know. So I said it now. So you can read the sutra and see how the word comes. If you know it, please work out and uh, send it. So it'll be easy. Okay. My explanation would be easy. I don't have to struggle to explain. This is 
They don't have to prepare then uh, elaborate notes. Please do it. If you have difficulty, we'll see. Okay. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.